Do you sometimes struggle with embracing your true self? Today, it's time to let go of all those doubts or fear that you have and gain the confidence you deserve. I'm going to share with you some of the things I did to help me gain confidence and self-acceptance with myself. Before we go into that, I need to give you a little background. So put on your jammies and snuggle up with your furry friend because it is story time. As I've said before, I was a very shy child. If somebody had walked up to me and said hi, I would have peed right there, which would probably explain why I like wearing diapers because I'm afraid somebody's gonna say hi to me. Yep, there'd be puddles just hanging there all over the ground. Anyhow, being shy, as you know, the shy child gets bullied the most. And I was bullied relentlessly. Relentlessly. They never gave up. Well, I guess they did give up eventually after I got <laughs> out of high school. I was mentally bullied. I was physically bullied. I was sexually bullied. Which later I found out sexual bullied was also known as sexual assaulted. But back in the 80s, boys didn't come out as being sexually assaulted. And if you did report it, you were labeled as a sissy, which in terms of school is 10 times worse than anything that happened to you. It's kind of like back in elementary school when you bailed out on a uh, triple dog dare. That was just the ultimate. And, and you could forget about going to a teacher or a faculty member about you being bullied. Those sons of bitches just jumped right in on the bullying too. They didn't give a damn. There was no such thing as zero tolerance back then. But back in the 80s, just the rumor, the rumor of you being gay was enough to get your butt kicked and your life threatened. Just the rumor. I always wondered why I got my butt kicked. Now it all makes sense. Anyhow, it got really, really bad. I was so miserable at school. I was so miserable at home. And one day I just got tired. I was tired of being hurt. I was tired of being alone. I was tired of crying myself to sleep every night wondering what the hell was wrong with me, why couldn't I stick up for myself, and why people picked on me. You've heard the saying, I'm sick and tired. I was just tired. I was too tired to even be sick of it. To the point where I almost did myself in. And I say almost because an angel named Andrew came into my life. He helped me to gain some self-confidence in myself. Anyhow, let's fast forward to September 12th, 1999. That's when Andrew was, I say, ripped away from me. Now, I was really sad for six months. Then I got mad. I was mad at anything and everything. Thank God that only lasted for six months, give or take a month. But during that time, someone had commented on me being gay and I unloaded on them. I mean, I totally unloaded on them. I mean, I just went off on them. All I saw was red and I just went off. I didn't physically do anything. I just verbally did stuff, said stuff. I called them everything but a good person. And after it was all said and done, I realized how good it felt for me to stand up for myself. That day was August 23rd of 2000. I remember it because I wrote it down. I knew at some point in my life it was gonna be a very important date, so I wrote it down. That was the day I stopped giving a damn about what people thought of me. I was going to be who I am, and if it bothered someone, they could just get the hell over it because my happiness was more important than their disappointment. And since then, I've been working on me, me as a person, self-discovery and acceptance within myself. Now, mind you, I'm not, I don't go around being a dick. You know, you don't have to be a dick. Self-confidence and self-acceptance has nothing to do with you being a, a just a, a dick. It's all about what you think of you. It's you understanding there's not a damn thing wrong with who you are. If being ABDL brings you joy and happiness, that's all that matters. It's time for you to celebrate your uniqueness because everybody on the planet is different. Nobody's the same. Don't be afraid to reach out to those who share your interests. And if you have friends who don't want to accept you as ABDL, Honestly, were they really friends in the first place? My dad told me this when I was growing up. Boy, 
when you die, if you can count on one hand, and of course he was drunk at the time, so you can count on one hand the amount of true friends you have, you'll die a happy man. Our true friends accept you for who you are, and they accept you for who you are in everything of who you are, not just the pieces that they like. They accept you for who you are. Unless, of course, you're an axe murderer. You're not an axe murderer, are you? But if you lose a couple of friends over the whole thing, oh well, you're going to find a lot more friends that are into the same interests in you. And if not, they're going to accept you. I know one of the big things that helps people with self-acceptance and, and, and confidence is knowing that they are not alone. You're not alone in this. Whether you like it or not, you know, we're... The rest of us in the ABDL, I mean, we're like, we're like freaking cockroaches. We're going to come, you know, invade your space. Not really. We're going to show you support and, and welcome you. Confidence starts with self-acceptance. In order to get self-acceptance to build confidence, you need to understand that being ABDL is who you are. It's not what you are. It's who you are. And it's okay to embrace it. Allow yourself to explore what brings you happiness and fulfillment. Embrace it. There ain't no shame in you being yourself. Put your happiness first. Like I said with me, my happiness was more important than somebody's disappointment. And each step you take towards self-acceptance is a small victory. Just the fact of you watching this video is a small victory. Anything you do ABDL wise or anything you read ABDL wise or anything you watch ABDL wise is a small victory in your favor. To build confidence in yourself, you need to surround yourself with positive influences. If you hang around somebody who's always, always down on themselves or always pissed off at the world, guess what you're gonna become? Find yourself supportive friends and inspiring communities online. That's why if you're going to be on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Twitter, I highly recommend be careful of who you choose to follow. Is the person you're following being positive? Are they going to help you become confident in your self-acceptance? Or are they just spewing out some garbage, which typically is what TikTok does, is just spews out some kind of garbage. That's why I call it the swamp land. Always remember, you have the power to shape your own narrative. So I'm gonna close the video with this. Never forget your feelings are valid. You deserve to be happy and fulfilled. Trust yourself and listen to your own needs. Your body and mind will take you in the direction you need to go. When you truly embrace yourself, as who you are, you won't have to ask anybody how to gain confidence. Confidence will flow naturally from you. That's a nickel's worth of free advice from me. Okay, take it for what it's worth. Take it, leave it, take what you need, take, leave the rest, do whatever. Like, subscribe, and until next time, be blessed.